Hi, my name is David Weston, and I was here in Amsterdam, 2008 uh, Black Hat, to speak about D-Trace, the reverse engineer's Swiss Army knife. I'm a security engineer at SAIC, which is in San Diego, California, in the U.S. And uh, our topic, D-Trace, is based on a new technology actually invented in 2005 by Sun Microsystems. It's a kernel-based dynamic tracing framework, which was originally designed for performance um, and debugging on production systems. So it's basically a kernel-based framework that has to be weaved into the operating system that allows you total visibility of all processes, whether they be kernel, user land, network, etc., on a particular system. So this came to our attention because it was ported in Mac OS X Leopard 10.5 and finally became available on a desktop operating system. And because we were looking for a tool set that would allow us to do fast uh, reverse engineering and exploit development on the OS X, we thought this would be a great topic to cover. So I'll give you a quick introduction to how D-Trace works. As I said, D-Trace is weaved into the operating system, so it gives you total visibility of the entire uh, process space, whether it be kernel, etc. So that's pretty uh, obvious how that can be used for reverse engineering. Often when you're reverse engineering a piece of software and you don't have the source code, but you'd like to audit it for security vulnerabilities or uh, uh, all types of different reasons, what you need to do is understand how the application works. Because you don't have the source code, normally you'd have to attach a debugger and step through, which is a very long and arduous process to understand essentially how the application works. D-Trace makes this easy because it's programmatic. So you write scripts in an interpreted language called D, which is very similar to a C subset like awk, that asks questions. So for example, what system calls is this operation making? What files is it opening? What, uh, what functions is it importing from libc and what are the arguments to those functions. So very powerful tool for dynamic analysis while that application is running. So the general workflow for reverse engineering an application with dtrace would be to write a script that gives you a general overview of what libraries are being run, etc. Then you would look for a place that maybe you thought would re uh, result in a security vulnerability or an interesting place in the program and you would write a dscript that has a predicate such as print out what happens when string copy is called or what are the arguments to string copy after a network is received, etc. So it allows you to zone in on the particular moment in time that you're interested in, which is very different than a debugger, which could be many uh, minutes or hours of stepping through before you get the breakpoints in the right place. So obviously this is very powerful. Well, now one of the drawbacks with the D language is it's primarily developed as a performance tool. So we were looking for ways to augment this to make it more customized towards reverse engineering or exploit development. So we came up with a framework called Retrace. Now what Retrace does is it combines the power of Dtrace with the flexibility of Ruby. And by wrapping the lib Dtrace, which is the primary library involved um, with the user communicating with Dtrace in the kernel, we're able to then write scripts using a hybrid of D and Ruby to do things that you couldn't do solely in the D language. The D language doesn't have loops or if else or any uh, sort of modern object oriented programming which Ruby does. The other nice feature of having Retrace written in Ruby is that it allows us to leverage existing reverse engineering frameworks such as Metasploit 3, Ida Rub for Ida integration, and uh, Meta ASM, which is a great programmatic disassembler. So by combining all these tools, we make a glue for a very powerful reverse engineering framework, and that's Retrace. And you can get that at re-tracer.blogspot.com, or you can search it on Google. And so a couple of the scripts we come uh, that we used as examples to be included with this framework was stack overflow detection. So one of the way that works is that while you're fuzzing a program, you're tracing all the arguments that, uh, for a particular function that uses the stack to make sure that the return address is the same as when you entered the function. If it's not, then you know a stack overflow uh, occurred. Now this is a very uh, abbreviated version of that, but you'll be able to see more by looking at the code at retracer.blogspot.com. We do a very similar thing with the heap, where we're able to hook all the functions in the heap um, and decide whether or not a particular libc function is writing to the heap that would call the heap overflow. Now, this is great, again, for having a fuzzer and augmenting it to understand where your fuzzer is striking vulnerabilities. The nice thing here is that you can combine the runtime analysis of Dtrace with the static analysis of IDA. So by using IDA Rube as a communication mechanism, 
we can fire up a disassemble a program in IDA and then run a fuzzer against the program as it's running and have it color or make comments into IDA when vulnerabilities are detected. This really speeds up and makes the exploit development and vulnerability discover very pleasant for the researcher. We do a very similar thing with code coverage. Code coverage is a way to figure out whether or not your fuzzer has run through all the portions of the program that may or may not be vulnerable. And traditionally setting up a fuzzer that does code coverage is a very long task. You've got to do a lot of things to get it running. With Retrace, you don't have that problem. You just fire up IDA, use a small script, and it will tell you all the functions that were run while your fuzzer was running, and you can color IDA. So you're leveraging the tools that already exist without having to go through and set up a lot of complicated uh, practices. Now, there's one other aspect that we've demonstrated here at Black Hat, and that's the defensive aspect. We showed how to build a host-based intrusion detection system using uh, Dtrace and Retrace. So because we are able to have such visibility of the system to do attack, we can use the same capabilities to do defense. We can hook all of the system calls for a particular application and decide whether or not they're harmful or not. Now this is normally a complicated process, but there's some great papers on there on profiling an application uh, based on its system calls and then whitelisting everything you know is good and warning the user when any anomalies are detected. Now we didn't do a very complicated example, but Dtrace, because it's built in an operating system, it would be a great candidate to build a custom host-based intrusion detection system for your application that's specifically tailored to the application. And hopefully that'll give you a lot less false positives and problems than sort of a standard vendor supplied uh, a generic host-based intrusion detection system, which often have false positives and false negatives. So those are just a few of the examples that we used. Uh, in the future, we'd like to augment the framework. One of the things that we'll be releasing in just a few weeks is the Red Bug. Now, Red Bug stands for Reverse Engineering Debugger, and it's a Ruby-based debugger, debugger that we developed specifically for OSX. And what that allows us to do is combine retrace with the power of a programmatic debugger. So one of the things we could do is completely automate the exploit development process. We can trace to a point in the application that we know is interesting, then transfer control to our Red Bugger, which will then walk through the code that we've created to automatically detect or uh, develop an exploit. So there's a lot of exciting possibilities there. As Dtrace grows, hopefully it'll become on some new platforms. Um, at BSD CAN this year, John Burrell will be presenting his port of, uh, of Dtrace over to FreeBSD, and we expect that Google may do, be doing the same for Linux. So because we've designed Retrace, and Dtrace in fact is designed in a way that's abstracted from operating systems or platforms, all the scripts that we've created for Retrace will work on Spark Systems, x86, PowerPC, Solaris, FreeBSD, and OSX. So it's really exciting technology and we hope that people will check out our code and give us some feedback and hopefully add on to the code itself.